In this video, I'll show you how to properly play the major scales on the piano with your right and left hand. Before we get into the demonstration, I want to preface this with a definition of terms because I talk about the right way to play the scales. And to me, the right way is a way that is adaptable to the rest of your playing. It's my personal opinion that you shouldn't practice the scales in order to be good at the scales. You should practice the scales to make playing music easier for you. How about some nice music to start the party off with? So with that being said, let's get right into the demonstrations. So we're going to start in C and work our way around the flat side of the circle of fifths. Then we'll go back to C and go around the sharp side. And I'll demonstrate with my right hand and we'll go through that fingering first. So for C major, um, there's two fingerings that I often play, and the first one is as such. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. And sometimes I'll play it like this. I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now onto F, I play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And B flat, this is where it starts to get a little bit different. I'm starting with three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Onto E flat, again starting with three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Onto A flat, starting with two, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. D flat, I have two, three, one, two, three, four, one, Sometimes two or three or four will do. G flat, I'm starting with two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two or three or four. And now I'll go back to C and we'll go around the sharp side of the circle of fifths. So C, as we've covered, onto G. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, D major, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. A major, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. As you might have guessed it, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And B, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now I'll go through the same thing with my left hand. So starting with C and going down the flat side of the scale, I have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. F, I have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. B flat, I'm starting with three, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four. Now E flat, starting with three also, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and three, sometimes four. A flat, starting with three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four. D flat, uh, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four. And G flat, Starting on two, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, four. And back to C. And we'll go through our uh, 
uh, sharp side of the circle of fifths. So G, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. And then D, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. A, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Then E, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. And B, I like to start B on two. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. There you have it, fingering for the right and left hand for all the major scales. And as a little tip, practice these very slowly. Try to become familiar with the thumb uh, crossing over, this kind of crossover motion. And try to memorize and really internalize these motions so you can apply them to different phrases. And especially don't be afraid to come up with your own fingering when you're playing a line or a melody but always try to make it as fluid as possible. I'm prescribing a little reactor fluid. So as a quick example, if I'm playing the C major scale up to the ninth, then I might change up my fingering and include my pinky. And now I've ended on D and I can go back up. And so there's all these different um, patterns that you can use depending on which way you're going on the piano and like as another example, if I'm ascending a C minor nine, um, maybe something like this, then you see I have this crossover motion and I'm really keeping my hand open. I'm not doing any kind of weird thumbs. The thumbs going on the black notes feels very uncomfortable. I'm not doing any weird motions. I'm just staying very fluid. And if I was continuing to ascend, then I might end it on my thumb. And then I can go back down. And if I was going back down immediately, then I might end it on my pinky. Then I have all my other fingers to work with. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks everybody for watching and take care.